For your butternut squash agnolotti, you're gonna need your pasta, your walnuts, an onion, some fresh sage, this roasted garlic herb butter, some cloves of garlic, Parmesan cheese, and some kale. And then you're gonna need a tablespoon of butter and some oil. For your onion, you're only gonna be using half of the onion. So let's go ahead and just cut it root to tip. Um, and you can, you know, save the other half for another use. Or if you really like onion, you can always add it all. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and since I'm gonna thinly slice this, I'm cutting off the tip and the root. We gotta get rid of this paper. And then just go ahead and peel that other layer of paper off. And then just go ahead and we're gonna thinly slice this. So, and you're just gonna do this for the entire half of the onion. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, mince all of our garlic cloves. And as a reminder, you take the heel of your knife and you're gonna smash down like so, so you can get that peel off pretty easy. And then you just cut it into thin strips like so. Just keep cutting it into thin little strips. And then what I like to do is just start, you know, mincing along, just, you know, chopping. You can peel all your garlic cloves first and then just keep doing the like rocking back and forth motion until uh, your garlic cloves are nice and small. So do this with all the garlic cloves. So for your fresh sage, um, you're gonna wanna pick these leaves off of the stalk. As you can see, it's, um, it's very thick. And it's a little bit, you know, you can kind of see there's like a little bit of like fur. It kind of has a velvety texture. So what I like to do is I'm just going to pick off the bigger leaves and I don't even want that part of the stem. So I'm kind of picking off like that. So I leave a little bit of the base left so I don't get any of the stem. Um, so I also recommend uh, that before you add all of the sage to add some and maybe, you know, give it a taste because sage can be a little bit overpowering sometimes. So to chop these up, I'm actually gonna just lay them all together like this, one on top of the other. And then just kind of give it a slight little like roll. You can do this with like basil leaves and stuff too. It's called chiffonade. And so then I'm just gonna cut this into thin little strips. like so and now you have um, your chopped up fresh sage for your kale you uh, want to wash and dry it and then you just kind of want to like sort through it and really this is doesn't have a lot of the thick stems but this is kind of a piece you don't really want a piece like this that has like a really thick stem because um, this is really tough and not very tender so just look for any pieces um, like this and go ahead and discard them I have a pot right over here uh, filled up with some salted water coming to a boil for our pasta and then in my pan here I have my sliced onions and I'm just going to add some oil and then we're just going to saute this for about three to four minutes until the onions get nice and softened. So my onions are nice and soft and they've been sauteing for several minutes so now I'm going to add in half my kale um, if you like, you can add the entire contents of your kale, which is what I'm going to do. You can always just pull some and serve it on the side if you want, but instead of letting it go to waste, I'm just going to go ahead and make it all. And I know this looks like a lot of kale, but it's going to, you know, really cook down. Um, and if you need to, you can go ahead and add a little bit of water in there if it starts looking like it's a little too dry. And what we're going to do is we're just going to season this up with some salt and pepper. And let this cook for about five to seven minutes. Nice salt and pepper, just give it a little toss. And we'll let that cook down for, like I said, about five to seven minutes. So as you can see, 
um, my kale really has cooked down quite a bit. I did go ahead and add some water to the pan, um, just a little bit, a little splash, just so that it wouldn't start to get too brown. Um, and now at this point, we're just gonna add our garlic and then another little drizzle of oil. And we're just gonna cook this for about 30 seconds until the garlic gets nice and fragrant. So I've cooked my garlic for just a few seconds and I've turned the heat off. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just transfer this mixture to a bowl. Um, you're not gonna need to wash this dish because we're going to be using it in our next step. Um, so just feel free to use the same pan after you get all this kale and onion and garlic mixture out. For our brown butter sauce, we're just going to start in that same pan that we had the kale in by melting down just one tablespoon of butter. So just get that nice and melted. Now that my butter has melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a package of my walnuts. And then I'm gonna add my sage. And you are gonna cook this um, for a minute or two, stirring it constantly. You can see how the butter is starting to bubble up already. And you're looking for the butter to change to a more like um, amber, light brown kind of color. So just keep stirring until you reach that color. So my butter definitely has started to change colors. Um, and at this point, I am just gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. You don't wanna overcook your butter because it can start to burn and get a bitter flavor. So I have my pot of boiling and salted water and I'm very carefully gonna add in my pasta. Since this is fresh pasta, it's only gonna take about three to five minutes to cook. Make sure that you reserve a cup of your pasta liquid before you strain them. And these are gonna um, eventually like float to the top and that's when they're done. It will take about three to five minutes. I mean, I know some of them are starting to, to float, but you'll kind of see all of them start to float to the surface and they'll get kind of puffed up. My pasta has finished cooking and you can kind of see how it's puffed up a little bit. So again, don't forget about saving your pasta water. So go ahead and save at least a cup of water that you're gonna use later on in your sauce and strain your pasta. To my pan that had the brown butter sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add my strained pasta. And then I'm gonna add my kale mixture. And then I'm gonna add um, just, you know, you can start with like a quarter cup of this reserved pasta water. And then we're gonna turn this to high heat and kind of give it a good stir, but be gentle because you don't want your ravioli or your agnolotti to break. The only difference is just the shape. That is why these aren't called a ravioli. It's not because of the flavor or there's something, you know, flavorly or texturally different about it or a different type of pasta. It's literally just based on the shape. So we're gonna let that cook uh, for about two to three minutes. And if you feel like it needs more pasta water, go ahead and add some more pasta water. Uh, now to our pasta, we are gonna go ahead and add our packet of the roasted garlic and herb butter. And then we're gonna add half of our Parmesan cheese and save, oh, I just dumped a lot in there and then save the rest for garnish and uh, just give this a nice good toss, season with salt and pepper and really that's it. Then you're ready to serve. As always, I look forward to seeing how you decide to plate your dish.